Decoding everyday English. The TV doesn't work. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we make learning English easy and fun. Today, we're diving into a very common phrase you might hear in everyday conversation. The TV doesn't work. Understanding these simple phrases can greatly improve your English comprehension and help you sound more like a native speaker. So, let's get started. The TV doesn't work might seem straightforward, but there's a lot packed into this simple sentence. At its core, this phrase means that the television is not functioning properly. It's not about the TV's physical movement but its ability to perform its intended function, which is to display pictures and sound for entertainment or information. Let's break down the sentence to understand why it's constructed this way. The TV specifies which object we're talking about. Using the indicates we're referring to a specific TV, likely one that both the speaker and listener are aware of. Doesn't is a contraction of does not, showing negation. It's used with a singular noun, like TV, to indicate that something is not happening or is not the case. Work, in this context doesn't mean physical labor, it means to operate or function correctly. When something doesn't work, it means it's not doing what it's supposed to do. The context in which this phrase is used can vary and affect its meaning slightly. If someone says, the TV doesn't work right after trying to turn it on, it likely means the TV is not powering up. During a storm, if someone says, the TV doesn't work, it might imply that the TV has lost its signal or power due to the weather. If said in a store, it could suggest the TV is broken and needs repair or replacement. Understanding the context can help you grasp the full meaning of what's being communicated. Knowing this phrase can be very practical. For example, you can use it in a conversation to report a problem with a television. It helps in understanding service and repair contexts, where you might need to explain what's wrong with an appliance or an electronic device. It's also useful in shops or when discussing warranties or returns. That's a wrap on, the TV doesn't work. We hope this video has shed some light on how to understand and use this phrase in your daily English conversations. Remember, Mastering these everyday phrases will make your English sound more natural and fluent. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in our next video. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep learning, and don't hesitate to replay this video if you need to hear the explanations again. Happy learning!